Hello friend, in this video, you are about to learn that how to make bottle finish or bottle neck thread in Blender. So let's start this tutorial. Press Shift A, under Mesh, select Plane. Now switch to Edit Mode, then press R, then X, then 90 degree to rotate on X axis. Now press S, then 2, to scale it 2 times. Now press Ctrl R for loop cuts and use scroll up to increase segments and scroll down to decrease segments. I am using here 5 segments. Now select this vertex like this, then press G, then Z, then point 4. Select this vertex like this, then press G, then Z, then minus point 4. Now add 8 loop cuts vertically so press ctrl r then 8 then enter to confirm this now click on this modifier properties then click on this add modifier and select here simple deform now enable this on cage option switch to bend select here z axis now change angle value that is 360 degree now press Ctrl 1 for back auto crop preview. Now we have to add here loop cuts. So press Ctrl R, give loop cuts like this. Now press Ctrl R, give loop cuts like this. Now press Ctrl R, give loop cuts like this switch to object mode then click on this arrow click on this apply now again switch to edit mode then press a to select all the vertex make sure this vertex selection mode enable then right click under this merge vertex select here by distance Expand this merge by distance option, increase this value like this. Turn on this edge selection mode. Now we have to remove few edges like this. So double click on this edge, holding shift, double click on this edge, holding shift, double click on this edge, holding shift, double click on this edge. Now press Ctrl X to dissolve this edge. Now turn on here vertex selection mode. Now select this vertex, then press G, and you can see that this is not connected with this edge. So turn on this as selection mode. Now press Alt Z to enable X ray mode. Now select here large edge like this, then right click, select here subdivide. Turn on this vertex selection mode. Select this vertex, holding shift, select this vertex. Now press M and select here at last. Now select this vertex, then press G. You can see that this is connected with this edge. Now we have to repeat same process here. So turn on this edge selection mode. Select here this large edge, then right click, select here subdivide turn on this vertex selection mode select this vertex holding shift select this vertex then press m and select here at last now press alt z to disable x-ray mode turn on this edge selection mode double click on this edge now press ctrl b and use one times scroll up button now left click to confirm this double click on this middle edge then press alt s and scale like this now press a to select everything then press s then z to scale on z axis like this now click on this modifier properties then click on this add modifier and select here 
subdivision surface modifier. Increase this level viewport value that is 2 or 3. Turn on vertex selection mode. Select this vertex. Holding shift, select this last vertex also. Then press G. Then Y. And move little bit on Y axis like this. Turn on this as selection mode. Now you can make bottle from here. To make this, click on this edge, then press E, then press enter. Now press S to scale like this. Now press E, then Z to extrude on Z axis. Like this. Now press F to fill. Now press I to insert face. Now press Ctrl R, give two loop cuts like this. Press S then Z to scale on Z axis. Again press Ctrl R, give loop cuts. Then press Ctrl B like this. Double click on this middle edge. Now press Alt S. Now switch to object mode, then right click click on this set as mode now you have this nice bottle model you can check its wireframe preview even you can add loop cuts anywhere like this so i hope you learn something from this video leave your comments and subscribe this channel thanks for watching this video